Hey guys, it's me, Light Acoustics here, and today I'm going to be talking about Velocicoaster. Before I continue, I have two things I want to notice. First off, I am somewhat sick, so if my voice sounds a little bit weird and scratchy, that's why. The other thing is, during my visit, this ride was down almost all day, so I was only able to get a few off-ride shots, which is why I'm going to be reusing a lot of the same off-ride and using other people's. So thank you to Kenobi Coaster for some of his off-road footage, which will be used in this video. And just with that being said, let's get into this review. First off, I have to mention, right after my first ride, this ride instantly became my number one. There is something so special about this ride that I can't describe pretty easily, but I can basically comprehend it enough to where I'm comfortable making a review on it and describing why it's my number one. And first off, let's talk about this ride's theming. If you couldn't see already by this off-ride footage, which is provided by Kenobi Coaster, there's lots of theming between lights, trees, rockwork, buildings, and even some statues of raptors. Even the trains are well-themed with a metallic vibe to them, giving off armory vibes, which is what they were going for, if I'm correct. I'm typically not one to bash on a coaster if it has a little to no theming, but for this ride, the theming adds a really good bonus to the ride. Next off, let's talk about comfort while you're on the ride. This ride's trains are very nice and roomy, which are very comfortable, and feature an over-the-shoulder lap bar style restraint. Nothing is actually over your shoulders, but the lap bar comes down from overhead. This lap bar is extremely comfy, and is designed in a way so even if you are stapled, you can still get some airtime room with it, which I really appreciate on this ride, because it allows for great airtime, no matter where you are. Which means you know, this ride has insane ejector airtime, but I'll talk about that more later. And I haven't mentioned before, this ride has amazing theming. Alongside the rock work, there are many raptors along the track, mainly in the first half of the ride. Next off with this ride is the smoothness. There are no potholes or anything with this coaster. It is all glossy smooth. This also doesn't use the traditional Intamin Blitz style track, but instead the new gen Intamin track which I don't really have a special opinion for. I mean, it looks nice, so I can't really say anything else. So that's all I have to say about that. And with that being said, let's get on to the layout review. This ride has an amazing layout, starting off with the launch to zero to 50 miles per hour in only two seconds, which is pretty powerful. You then go through an Immelman, which is followed by a dive loop. I really enjoyed these two elements. They gave some pretty good whip. You then go through a bunch of bank turns and chirp airtime hills. Almost all of these elements, even the banked turns, can give ejector airtime, which is very, very surprising, including those moments right there. This turnaround doesn't give any, though. This one does, though, and you can pass by a Velociraptor. This also gives ejector right here before you hit the second launch, bringing you from 40 to 70 in 2.4 seconds. It doesn't sound that strong, but it is. You then traverse the 150-foot top out, which has a trim break on top, but it doesn't really affect you. You then go down the 140-foot drop before you hit the 100-foot long stall. This stall gives some pretty decent hang time. You then hit a couple of bank turns before you hit this ride's outward bank stingle dive, which gives some insane air time. Like, that air time scared me. You then hit a little wave turn element, ejector pop, and then the barrel roll, which is my favorite element on the whole ride. You then do an S-bend into the brake run, ending your ride. If you guys couldn't tell already, this ride is quite insane. I, I can't use words to describe how crazy this ride is, but this ride is absolutely amazing. <clears throat> this is a ride where if you're in the Orlando area, you must go to this park to ride it, because it is 100% worth your time and money to do it. This instantly became my number one roller coaster, as with many others. And everyone has mutually agreed, for the most part, that this is the best ride in Florida. It's personally my favorite coaster because I love the theming, I love blitz coasters, I love the fast pacing, I love the sharp airtime, and I love the inversions on this ride. 
because the inversions on this ride are world class. Anyways, that's really it for this review of Velocicoaster. Make sure to come back next week for my top 15 roller coasters. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Lighted Coasters. Goodbye.